Alrighty, this is Bruno working on the iOS malaria project for Sisters Google Chrome Code 2015. So Bruno, I'll pass it over to you. And Hello. if you can um, um, mute, you and I will mute if we're not speaking, so we can give full attention to Can everybody see my screen? Yes, we can. Thank you. Can you see the presentation? Yes. OK, so I'm Bruno. I'm presenting Malaria iOS for iPhones. And I'm me. I'm Bruno Henriquez. I'm a master student in Portugal. And I am also iOS developer in Phoenix Edu. I just started. So, and my mentor is Shannon Salunco. She is a graduate student in Georgia, USA. I am working in Lisbon, in Portugal, and my, my mentor is working in Atlanta, so it's like a five hours difference. We usually do our, our meetings on Sundays. So, development, goals, and timeline. So, malaria, malaria mobile app goals are mostly remember volunteers to take their medicine, because they're working abroad and, they, and Peace Corps wants to assure their safety. Increase volunteers' adherence to medicine through the app. Peace Corps would, would also want to send message to his volunteers. And since it is an app uh, being used by volunteers abroad in Africa, uh, the app must be easy on battery and mobile data. So, the timeline. So, on the May 25th, uh, I was setting up the environment. In June, I started the backend development, mostly data and logic. I, I, I wasn't doing most, many things about regarding the, the presentation and the UI. After the backend development and after the first midterm mid evaluation, uh, I started doing the presentation. And during this, all this process, I was already doing unit tests and always trying to clean up the code, so I, would, I wouldn't have so much stuff to wrap up in the end. And now, in the August 21st, so today is 8, 19th, I'm, I'm just wrapping the, the program, cleaning up, to, uh, the code is already cleaned up, unit tests are already done, and it's all mostly ready to, mostly re it's mostly ready. Teachers. So, so this is setup screen. This is the screen that opens up when the user opens the application for the first time. So there are multiple code dosage. So at the moment it's dossy clean, so it's daily. So we can have daily, weekly, uh, trip to three days, four to four days, any kind of pill we can we can we can set up. There's a reminder time. And in the top right there is an icon that allows the user to send feedback. To, to our developers. Then, a bit lag. Then, after the user, the next screen is the pill tracking, which shows today. The user can, can press yes or no. And when he presses, there's a sound effect. And he can track whether to or not to pill today. Next, it's daily sets. I'm going to show you a demo of the app after that. I'm just going wrapping up most, the most features. So this is today's stats. It's easily extendable, so it's easy to modify. Next, we have the global stats. We have the monthly adherence. And we have the graph that shows adherence through time. The graph is interactable, so the user can double tap to zoom or can pitch in to zoom. Next, we have the calendar which happens after the user clicks on one of these rows. In this in screen, the user can consult previous days and can correct, correct previous days. On in red, it shows that the user didn't took to his medicine, didn't take his medicine, and in green, green it means that he, he took his medicine. Next, we have notifications. So these are the notifications for the trip and for the medicine. So these messages are easy to modify if needed. And in the future, if, if the Peace Corps wants to localize the application 
to different languages is also easy. The notifications are also interactable, so the user doesn't need to open the application to track his medicine. Then we have the plan my trip. And here in this screen, the user can create a trip. He can manage the package release by clicking this, bu this button. And he has multiple trip reminder options. Where you can, you can then whether uh, receive a notification on the, on the on the day or the pre previous day or the week before or maybe all that. It's, it's, up, it's up to him. This is the screen for uh, managing the trip items. So on on the top, it's the medicine you should choose which has chosen, and on the right, it's the number of pills he need he needs to to take to to the trip, regarding the st the the departure time and the arrival time. So this is the list. You can add new items through the plus button, and you can press any row to put this on green or in red. Green means that he has he has the item, and in red means he, he doesn't have the item, so he has to so he has to pack it. This is screen to add new item, and this is info up. Info up it's the screen responsible for the Peace Corps to send messages and volunteers to receive and read the messages. These are the current posts. Posts. It's accessible to new to new URLs from Peace Corps, and it implements pull to refresh, so the user can at any time anytime pull down to refresh the screen. So it, it, it is not mandatory to have internet. As long as he syncs one time, it's always always stored. This is the screen that, that shows the, a single post. I, in iOS, it's a standard to have a settings. So in, in this screen, you have the version. We have the contact as uh, button. You, have the, you can set up whether he wants to track, to be reminded from the medicine, and whether he wants to set up the a trip reminder. Uh, on the bottom of the settings, you can clear the, the current data. With, with this, you can uh, clean, clear up more storage. So this is the contact information. We have the sister website and the developer, developer's web email. And this is a generic message that I, that I, that I made. That I made. And the application also supports iPad. So a demo. Uh, let me just close it. So I hope everyone can see the, the application. So this is the setup screen. I can choose the medicine I want to take. I'm going to choose weekly. Hi, Bruno. This is Rose. Can you um, make that a little bit larger for us? Actually, I can't. It's already on the max zoom. OK. I'm sorry. No, that's OK. Keep going. Wait, wait. I mean, maybe I can do something if you give me one second. Uh, this place. Mm. Is it better now? Yes, it is. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. So I choose a weekly medicine, methylcholine. As I said, it all supports another another dosage, so two to three days, four to four days. I can set up the money time. I'm going to set up to 2.54 p.m. I'm going to press done. So this is the, this is today. I can press either I didn't took the medicine or I took medicine. Today I took the medicine. You can't hear, but there was a sound effect on my headphones. The user can at any time change this query medicine by pressing the the top right button on the top. So I'm going to change back to the to doxycycline. Since I change medicine, I, w I, w I will be notified. My previous statistic won't be lost. So okay. I'm going back. I, I'm going back to the the medicine. This is different medicine. So these buttons are again enabled. I took the medicine. I swipe right, and these are the current sets. Today I took the medicine. August 19. 
I took the medicine, so this was incremented, and I always took the medicine, so this is on 100%. I'm going to swipe again right, and I can, as you can see, I always took the medicine through the months. And this is the current graph. I only, I only have one dot, so there is no much information. So, but I, I, but I took the medicine on July. I'm going to change this date by pressing the 7. You didn't take your, your daily pill. Did you take your medicine on 7 July? Yes, I did. Thank you. And the graph was, ch was changed. I want, to, I want to modify more. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And the graph is changed. These are all the optimized, so the graph is only rendered when it's needed or when it, or when it's, it was updated. So this is the medicine. Plan my trip. So in here I can change the I can create a trip. I'm going to set it to New York. Let's put it autocorrect. Okay, let's put any destination. <laughs> autocorrect. There you, the, the current history is empty. It's the bottom on the left. I can set the departure. So okay, I would say it's tomorrow. Uh, and it'd be in 19 November. I want to be reminded, so my trip is uh, on 11, I want to have everything ready by 7 a.m. So, my package list. Whoa, since it's, I don't know, it's two, three months, so I have to bring 99, 92 pills. But I will, I will have to take a medi uh, weekly medicine, so it's much less pills, so for 14 weeks. Well, I want to bring a, 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 a bug net with me, so I'm going to add one. I'm going to press done. I have, I have, I have one already with me, so I'm going to press. I press. Oh, there's a typo, so I can, I can change it by do, long tap the, 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 the cell. I just want to correct this to be uppercase, and it will change. I press done. It's good. I want to be, I want to rem I want to be reminded. Success. And as you can see, this tree was updated. Next, info up. There are no posts at the moment, so it is refreshing. At it is it is refreshing. Well, it was refreshed. I can enable pipe pull down to refresh, as you can see, or I can tap a single post. I'm going to check the Peace Corps policy by tapping. I tapped. So this is the message. I can, uh, again, close it. Let's go back to, to this screen. I can change again to the weekly pill. And this, this will change again. Since it's a, this is since it, this is a weekly pill, so during the next seven days, this is marked as green. I can skip on the, on on August 10. I will skip a day. Well, I'm going to say yes again. So this this remains green. This meant, sorry, this remains red, and everything else remains green. And the graph and the graph was updated. And I did, there it is a notification for the trip. So this is a demo showing the major features that, that, that there is. So next. Next steps. Future features, readiness, and after Google Sum of Code. So I have this pop up. Let me just get rid of it. OK. So. Uh, as requirements document says, uh, info sh should be improved to support image and support more rich text and posts. Uh, Peace Corps will also want to aggregate the statistics and send the data to Peace Corps. There was also talking about gamifying the, the experience, so giving more points, uh, keeping track of the medicine stock, and making admin, admin, admin uh, sorry admin version of the app. So these are the future features. So the, so the next question is, is it ready to someone else to pick up? Yes, I hope so. I, I worked for it. So the code is well documented. 
there are lots of unit tests, so the, user, the, the next developer can uh, uh, change the code at, at free will and just run the tests and see if it, it is still working. So it can refactor without, without any fear. Most of the design is centered around the storyboard. It is an uh, iOS-centered uh, concept. S uh, most of the models I developed uh, should have at most one single responsibility, so there is no code scattering or code tangling. At least I tried. I use uh, Cocoa Pods for managing external models to ease development and to have to centralize most of the application logic on one repository. And made my best to have good maintainability and resolubility uh, qualities. What happens next after Google Summer's Code? Yes, I want to continue developing it. Uh, I, I want to help fix most of the bugs, help develop new features, but I won't be full time. I will be mainly be supportive, and if you want me to develop something, please let me know. Uh, I'll, I'll always be available. Just let me know. So, any more questions? Wow, that's amazing. We want you to be available also. <laughs> <laughs> um, particularly when we when we actually get this up on the App Store and then Peace Corps um, volunteers are using it, the feedback, you know, that's going to be very helpful and useful for us and in, in, uh, taking care of any bugs that come across as well. So, thank you so much for the great work. Um, and I'll have to ask you later how you get your presentation to work in the Hangout because we had a lot of students that uh, used Mac and use their presentation and can get it to work in the in the hangout. So um, any tips you want to provide on the chat area, please feel free. Um, great work, Bruno. Great work. That's excellent. Um, and so Antika is here. Antika, welcome, welcome. Thank you. Um, sorry about, uh, I don't know, about the link. Um, did you have a presentation and demo? Ready for us? Ankita? Okay. You want to unmute yourself. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to mute myself and I'm going to pass it on to you, okay? I'll share my screen. Are the slides visible? Yes, thank you. Oh. Um, wait. Yeah, so I'll start now. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so I'm going to give a presentation on Malaria Prevention App Android, which is my sister's GSOC 15 pro project. So current, uh, I'm a student, electronics engineering student uh, at IIT BHU Varanasi. Currently, I have just joined uh, as a project engineer in Wipro Technologies. My mentor, Anike, he is a project manager at Google Nigeria, and my another mentor, Aditi, she is a BTEC student of computer engineering at DPU. So th this is our team of Malaria App Android. And then the agenda of today's presentation, 
So first I will discuss about the goals, then the timeline, features, demo, and future prospects, and my availability, and the, and the code readiness. And at the last, we'll have the question and answer session. So first about the goals. We had to develop a app which, uh, which, is, which can easily remind us to take the medicine, then keep track of the adherence, and assist us for reminding for us for a trip, and then receiving the feedback from the Peace Corps. So, and I'll now roughly discuss my timeline. So first, uh, in the first few weeks, I developed the info hub part. After that, I improved functionalities of pill, pill tracker. Then uh, I've made the midterm demo. And after that, I developed trip indicator. Then I improved functionality of smart reminder. After that, I did some UI enhancements. Also, I tested app on different screen sizes. After this, uh, this is a more detailed timeline, and also the link is available. It's a Google Drive link. Uh, you can see it there. After that, I'll discuss the features of the app, like the main features. So this is the setup screen. Clicking on the uh, malaria prevention, this icon, it opens up. And here, I can choose my drug, uh, and also I can pick my time. Then the home screen. Here I can accept it, accept the medicine for today, and I can also uh, click on cross if I have, if I have not taken the medicine. Then this is the first analytics screen which shows me the medicine last taken, doses in a row, and adherence to medicine. After that, I have the second analytics screen which shows me the progress bars and the adherence rate graph. So adherence rate. It's calculated in percentage, and it is uh, plot. It is plotted against the num number of days. And these progress bars, uh, these are showing me progress of each month. So clicking on any of them will open the calendar. And here you can see the tick icon. It tells you that you have taken the medicine on that day, and the cross icon tells that I have not taken the medicine on that day. And if I have to edit, I can click on any of the grid cell, and then it opens up. The activity opens up. And uh, like I, uh, this below is the edit icon. Clicking on this, I can edit the to, for, edit the entry for today. Next is the smart reminder. So whatever time I have set up uh, in the setup screen, on that particular time, an alert dialog will open, and it will say that have you taken your drug today? So clicking on taken will uh, register it as a taken entry. And clicking on snooze will snooze the alarm. And not taken will register it as a not taken entry. Then this is the info hub part. Here all the six posts uh, listed are listed, which are related, uh, which are from the MACC and are related to malaria prevention. So clicking on any of them will open the corresponding post. So suppose I click on volunteer adherence rate, then the corresponding post will appear. Then comes the trip indicator. So trip indicator, uh, like it uh, enables it, uh, it enables me to actually set a reminder for trip, like what uh, when will be the departure date and what all I'll be taking with me and the reminder time. And also, this uh, trips, this small icon, if I click on this, it will show me the history of locations, like uh, which I've already traveled. So I can choose any one of them, and it will come there. Then this is the trip indicator packing list. So suppose if I click on this uh, icon, packing list, and then this will appear. Uh, the this dialog will appear here. I can register uh, here. The number of pills will be automatically calculated, and I can enter cash and also the uh, like the items which I want to take with me. Then this is the reminder for the trip, which uh, like which will notify me that I have to uh, I have to go on trip on this day. So these were the features. Now I can now the next is the demo. So the link is available here. Uh, 
So uh, should uh, should I play this or should I sh share my screen? Share share your screen. That would be helpful. Okay. Thank you. Is the app visible? Yes, thank you. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, uh, I've already set up a reminder time, so that's why it is showing me the alert dialog. And if I click on this uh, this notification, this, op uh, this alert dialog opens. And if I click on take in, then it will register it as that. If I click on snooze, again the alarm will come up. And not taken, then I'm not taking the medicine. So suppose I've taken it, and I'll click, oh, I'll click on taken, and it registered is it as a taken entry. Then this is the home screen. Here it shows the today's day, and then the like today's date, and also these two buttons. Like uh, since I've already taken the medicine, so this uh, this cross icon it is disabled, else it was supposed to be uh, in red color. Mm -hmm. But uh, I have taken the medicine, so this uh, this appears, and this gear icon it allows me to reset the whole data. So if I click on the radio button and I say yes, and then uh, OK, so it will reset the whole data and it will take me to the initial setup screen. If I click on the no and OK, so it will not reset. Then sliding to the left, this opens the first analytic fragment. So here. Uh, it, uh, it, it tells me the medicine last taken. So recently I took it on 19th August, so that date is available. Doses in a row is two. It will uh, calculate the consecutive medicines date uh, and adherence to medicine, so 75%. And clicking on and just sliding on the left will open the second analytic fragment. So here you can see the four progress bars and uh, of each month and clicking on any of them will open the corresponding uh, calendar of uh, the calendar of corresponding month so suppose if i click on august then the corresponding calendar appears and there were some entries uh, before so i've taken the medicine on 18 so a tick appears and i'm not taking it on 17 so a cross appears and tick again so suppose i forgot to take it on 15 so i click on 15 and i click on the edit button and i say yes i took the medicine so it a tick appears if i have not taken then a cross will appear so if i go back so this entry is uh, registered as tick so i have taken the medicine then uh, after this uh, trip indicator, so uh, so clicking on this uh, bus icon, it uh, opens the trip indicator. So this is a plan my trip, and uh, suppose I want to enter any location. I want to go to say San Francisco, so I'll enter it, and the departure date be today. The arrival date be on 20th August, and then the packing list. So, so since I took the uh, the departure date as 19th and arrival as 20th, so that that makes a trip duration of two days. So it has and and if it is a daily pill, then then the number of pills are available. 
and I can also select the pills like if I want uh, like ma melarone so accordingly the, the number of pills will be calculated and clicking on like uh, I can enter the cash value also so suppose I want to take $35 with me and some of the items which I want to take I want to take mosquito net uh, cream and cash then I can just uh, tick these and I can uh, just Clicking on this enter icon will uh, will submit the, this data for the reminder. And if I if I want to delete this, suppose I don't want to pay, pay I don't want to take papers with me, so I'll take the papers and I click on delete. So this papers this will go off. Now I have to take net and cream with me, and I say enter. Then remind me at will remind me uh, at that time. So for showing uh, the notification, I'm setting it to 6, 9 p.m. I say OK, and I say generate. So the reminders are set. So at 6, 9, like, uh, you can see that the reminder is coming. So now it will take me, like, uh, now if I click on the uh, reminder, then it will show me the list. So suppose, uh, like, uh, so I entered pills, net, cream, and cash. So it is showing me in the dialog. And if I click on this clear button, then this all will go off, and it will uh, understand that I have already packed these items. And if I click on snooze, then it will remind me again. So I click on clear. So this was the plan my trip. Now the info hub. Clicking on this I icon below opens the info hub. So these are the posts. So uh, if I click on any of them, like P Corps, so it is updating from the site and then it comes and shows. And like the uh, same for the others too. So of course, the side effects and everything. So if uh, the, inter uh, the internet is not connected, then it will load from the cache. So that I cannot show today, uh, like just now because I have to disconnect the internet then. And uh, also, I think I forgot to tell about the adherence graph. So this is it. Uh, this is the adherence graph. So uh, in the y-axis, uh, the adherence values are available, and in the x-axis, the days. So uh, adherence versus day graph is plotted uh, according to what is registered. Uh, as a taken or a not taken entry. So this is the whole uh, malaria prevention app, Android app. Thank you, Ankita. Do you have uh, additional slides, or you're you're complete? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, do you have additional slides, or are you complete with your presentation? Yeah, I'll I'll just go ahead with my presentation. Okay. So uh, I've given the demo, and after that, I'll discuss about the future prospects of this app. So here, uh, these are the, the future prospects which, which we have thought of. So we are trying to we'll be trying to gamify the app by try to by trying to develop a malaria prevention quiz, and we can also share the scores with uh, like with others. And we can make a prescription platform, like if we want some, uh, med, uh, like some advice from the doctor, we can uh, we can make it 
uh, we can uh, like include a email facility in it and then the sharing of adherence rate uh, like uh, what if we have got a good adherence rate then we can share it with others in social media say for, for facebook other a, a, any other social media sites and then the improving the info hub so uh, now info hub is only showing the text data we can uh, also integrate uh, with the macc and even more effectively and can share the images too now my availability and the transferability of code. So yeah, I'm ready to support uh, the Malaria App Android after the program. And I'll be there, I'll be supporting if, uh, if there are bugs and I'll, I'll be able to fix them too. And also the app features, like the features which, uh, we, uh, which we can enhance uh, are mentioned, I already mentioned in, in, in the future prospects. Then after that, the and the work, like, is it ready for someone to take up? So yeah, it is. Like, it has a well-documented code. And I've maintained the software design document in which I've uh, explained each of the methods and its use. And also the, uh, the initial demos and all the prototype are available. So one can easily uh, try the app and can, uh, can uh, intuitively get its functionality. So that's all. And uh, like, now we'll have a question answer session. Thank you. Thank you, Anki. Thank you, Anki. Appreciate it. Um, you can start. Yes, there we go. So you both have done amazing work, and we appreciate that. Um, one of the things I walked out of Peace Corps uh, when we actually demoed the application for them back in June, I believe. They said that um, Patrick said that you know you actually developed the application exactly how they designed it and envisioned it. So that's a uh, that's actually pretty rare in um, uh, when we get it right the first time. So um, you know you should definitely uh, give your hands applaud for the great work. Um, amazing, amazing work. Um, one of the things also I did create an issue in both of your repos that the date format, so the date format should be month, month, um, day, day, and then four digit year. Um, and that's the only thing. And uh, we will be working uh, this weekend to make sure that all of the apps are ready to go. Um, and we're going to push them out on the App Store as well as Google Play so that we can get this to the Peace Corps volunteers soon. Um, what I would suggest is that both of you said that you would actually make sure um, that you wanted to continue working on this and we really appreciate that and I'm sure Peace Corps appreciates that so what you want to do is just monitor your GitHub or have the notifications ready for you. Um, the other thing is Anike and other mentors make sure that their uh, code is reviewed, uh, everything is checked in and they've submitted a PR against all the work they've done by Friday. Um, this is a hard pencils down, a firm pencils down, so make sure that you have that. Next week is actually evaluation, so students, you must submit an evaluation, and then it's my job to make sure that the mentors submit their evaluation so that you all can get your payment on time, and there's no strings about that. But one last thing is that we, um, sisters, and Anita Borg Institute, we host, uh, we present a um, uh, Grace Hopper Celebration Conference is our big conference in October. On the very first day, we have Open Source Day. And so I would really um, encourage you to, um, to participate remotely or virtually so that the attendees, we will have a set number of people working specifically on Sisters Project. And those that are working on malaria could kind of communicate with you during do a hangout session or uh, even online. I'm going to create some. Um, I've created already a Sisters uh, GSOC Slack, so maybe I'll just invite everybody in there um, so we can talk about that. But um, just think about that. It's actually October 14th, and if you, I'm going to type in the actual um, address is gracehopper.org. So you may want to participate that way. That would be great. Um, but we would love to have you continue working on this. And so we'll keep you posted on when it's actually out on the uh, App Store and Google Play.
And then um, just make sure you're checking your notifications on GitHub for any issues that come through, okay? Great work. Amazing, amazing, amazing job to both of you. Hats off. And that's great that you're working together. Um, the Peace Corps has, has really complimented you and love the work that you've done. So you should be very, very proud of the work that you are submitting. Thank you. Okay. Thanks so much and appreciate it. And just get the last bit of done for your Google Summer of Code requirements, okay? Great having you. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.